Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm gonna bring you two things today. I'm gonna bring you a quick product review because this is the first time I'm using this product line and I thought, hey, if you have natural hair, you wanna know how this feels and how it treats my hair. My hair is in a very bad, rough state right now. Rough, right? And I'll be reviewing Auntie, what's her name? Auntie Aunt Jackie's. That's a paper for a product line. Because you really get the best. Here, that's my focusing. So, we have Aunt Jackie's. And that's the line I'm going to be reviewing. And we got three products from this line three as one I honestly don't use the other ones they had like oils and all that and I already have my oil mixture already and I already have my personal favorite which is Shea Moisture um, Scalp Moisturizer so I didn't necessarily need to buy the rest so what I needed a shampoo conditioner and a repair treatment and I got those so I have this one called the cocoa wash right so the cocoa wash is a coconut milk conditioning cleanser which is a shampooing hydrant so i they had a shampoo just regular shampoo but then i saw this and i'm like it's i was reading the description and it says that it cleans your hair without drying it out and that's my biggest thing with shampoo because anytime i'm using shampoo i would always have to um basically pre-pull my hair which is like stack it up with conditioner and like help it to get some of that moisture in and then the shampoo would suck it out and then I put more conditioner in so when I saw this I thought it was gonna be a great opportunity so this is a cocoa wash which is a creamy coconut milk conditioning cleanser and what it says is that it is an amazing coconut milk therapy will leave your hair clean and free of impurities while feeling touchably softer mmm and it says the coconut milk has been used throughout ages to help hydrate the hair. It is blended with other essential ingredients, including ginseng and shea butter. And Aunt Jackie's Cocoa Wash is an excellent therapy for all hair types and textures. And it's gentle enough to use daily. No, 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 we're not doing that. We're just going to wash our hair. That's it. So the directions is wash. We're going to follow the directions for using these things. I'm gonna really assume this goes first because this is the one I want to use first. So this is the cocoa wash and then we have, like I said, my hair was in Polox for a bit. It is still kind of knotted and dry but it's still pretty much oily and that's because when I was doing the um, Folox I made sure that I hydrated it with Shea Moisture. Shea butter. Shea butter. And make sure that it was really there so that it can continuously suck it up and then I have a cocoa repair oh y'all kind of look like the same cousins okay let me get over that for a bit so we have the cocoa repair and this is a deep conditioner and it is it said it's also shampoos intense I don't know what all that means but it's a nourishing treatment throughout the hair shaft to stop damage and breakage it's for curly hair for natural curls coils and waves so let's see what it says is it is it's infused with carrier oils that pull nutrients into the hair shafts and Jackie's cocoa repair coconut cream recipe helps to improve the look and feel of chronically dry fragile tresses that's what that says. Yep, that's the word it says. Whether damage is from chronic dryness, over processing with chemicals, straightness or color, heat styling, braiding, or certain environment environmental conditions, cocoa repair is an intense remedy to help return here to a vibrant, softer state, especially good for 2C and 4C textures. I'm not sure where I stand up to this day, so let's not even get on that. So it says, on clean damp hair, apply Genesoma all over the hair and make sure... So I gotta wash my hair first. Ugh. Gotta wash my hair first. So then you leave it for 10 minutes, cap it. Eh. So we're washing our hair first. 
and the last thing I got was Aunt Jackie's quench so now they didn't really have like a state of like conditioner which is what I wanted but they have a leave-in conditioner I'm not a big fan of leave-ins to be honest but nevertheless so it says I'm clean here with a dry damped or damped or damped here squeeze into the hand rubs in did it here thoroughly gently comb straighten starting at the end then make your way to the roots tell me how to comb your hair make your way up to the roots do not force through tangles apply more as apply more as needed so the description it says ah that sounds like your hair is what ah that's the sound of your hair exhaling after it drinks in and Jackie's quench <laughs> Leaving condition that's funny long lasting moisture slip and softness are delivered through natural conditioners including marshmallow root shea butter and extra virgin olive oil don't rinse it out it had a little extra thing there this mega moisturizing and conditioning treatment helps eliminate dryness without a heavy feel so for the first time ever I'm I'll be using a leaving conditioner and well, basically these three from the product line. Each of these cost me around $25, maybe $25, $26 overall. So in total, I have around $75 in my hand here. So let's hope that it's worth $75. So I'm gonna go and wash, wet my hair. I think I'm gonna give you like a weird, I'm inside my house washing my hair kind of kind of vibes. Um, but um, I don't know yet, so. I start first I tend to finger part my hair Yeah, I don't really expect it to lather because of the fact that one, my hair is filled with oil. It's filled with oil. Ooh. Oh, you missed it.
that's my fun now I feel like I should have um, probably definitely put in um, I should have probably put in um, what do you call it uh, thing anyways so we have the next product line right here which is a cocoa sorry which is a cocoa repair and it does say it can be put in after the cocoa conditioning cleanser and then followed by any leave-in treatment which is the one I'm following which is why I have the leave-in conditioner here. yeah yep they didn't have it in order anyways so I think I'm gonna just let's see the direction I'm clean down here apply generous amount all over the hair making the hair coated from root to end an intense repair and I'm going to be doing an intense repair so this is gonna be left on for 10, 10 minutes it doesn't, it doesn't really smell to like really say anything about it doesn't smell terrible so for this I'm just gonna section my hair because um, it's easier for me to work in sections as you can see it's like a little bit of hair in my head Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to burst every shot of my hair right now. <laughs> A lot of my hair came out. Um, oh my, my hair does not feel stronger. So I'm hoping after this, it will feel heavenly again. Yeah. So now that I've pinned up three, like I said, my hair feels extremely fragile, extremely. So I'm going to take some of the cream.
So I'm going to put it for 15 minutes. I'm not sure what how you are when you okay. For 15 minutes. Um because I don't have like a heater, so we can add another five minutes. So you can actually get warmer than it here. So going off right now. So I'm going to Alright, alright, alright. So that is about 15 minutes of this being on my head. I'm just gonna air it out. So I'm going to let this cool down for a bit because the last thing I want to do is make my hair all hot and then I go under cool water and then I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'm gonna be back. So yeah. And I'm gonna definitely let you know how it feels because first of all, yes, it feels a lot more moisturized than what I had. So I'm gonna give Aunt, Aunt Jack Aunt Jackie's the credit for that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look, ooh, ooh, child, stop. So I'm gonna give her the credit for that. So I'm just gonna put this back in and pause this. Right. Um, first of all, I will also be doing my hair in this video. I'll decide whether or not I'm gonna mesh them together because already it is mad long. So if I can get it down to about five minutes, then we can definitely get into two videos. Um, because I'm trying to not make videos over 10 minutes unless the content is extremely important so maybe maybe this one might be 15 Ugh, sounds like a lot I don't think I've ever sat and watched 15 minutes of anybody anyway so for the product let me explain this right so you remember how curl it looks yeah curls main thing alright what I can say is that the moisture, even though my hair feels a lot more moisturized, it doesn't feel as as moisturized. As in, it's great, you know. You can still see my curl patterns. It is not weighed down by the, the heaviness of the, the product, but in the sense, I still feel a little bit dry in my hair fragments with themselves yeah all right overall I will say that it did do what it set out to do which was to intensely moisturize but I think because the the co-wash or the wash thing dried my hair out to that extent it had a lot of work to do so the instructions was that I can use any leave-in treatment or Whatever, any leaving, whatever. Anything I'm not gonna leave in on it, alright? So, <laughs> I decided to use a leave in conditioner. This one does not um, belong to the same cocoa, whatever it is, but it is quench. So, like I said, my hair is extremely dry, so we're just gonna take some quench and we're gonna rub it in here. my first use of Aunt Jackie and maybe later you will eventually see that I'll, I'll eventually just put it in a video when I'm reviewing another brand to like basically say after about so and so of the brand I basically fell in love or yeah I'm not gonna lie I really love my girl Bye! Thank you for watching this video.